In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Within your will, O Lord, all things are established, and there is none that can resist your will. For you have made all things, the heaven and the earth, and all that is held within the circle of the earth. You are the Lord of all. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind and confess our sins. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty God, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless till they find their rest in you. Pour your love into our hearts and draw us to yourself, and so bring us at last to your heavenly city, where we shall see you face to face. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Galatians. I am astonished at the promptness with which you have turned away from the one who called you and have decided to follow a different version of the good news. Not that there can be more than one good news, it's merely that some troublemakers among you want to change the good news of Christ. And let me warn you that if anyone preaches a version of the good news different from the one we have already preached to you, whether it be ourselves or an angel from heaven, he is to be condemned. I'm only repeating what we told you before. If anyone preaches a version of the good news different from the one you have already heard, he is to be condemned. So now, whom am I trying to please? Man or God? Would you say it is men's approval I'm looking for? If I still wanted that, I should not be what I am, a servant of Christ. The fact is, and I want you to realise this, the good news I preached is not a human message that I was given by others. It is something I learnt only through a revelation of Jesus Christ. The Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. I will thank the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just and their assembly. Great are the works of the Lord to be pondered by all who love them. The Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. His works are justice and truth. His precepts are all of them sure, standing firm for ever and ever. They are made in uprightness and truth. The Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. He has sent deliverance to his people and established his covenant for ever. Holy his name to be feared, his praise shall last for ever. The Lord keeps his covenant ever in mind. Alleluia, alleluia, I give you a new commandment. Love one another just as I loved you, says the Lord. Alleluia. A reading from... The Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a lawyer who, to disconcert Jesus, stood up and said to him, Master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, 
What is written in the law? What do you read there? He replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbour as yourself. You have answered right, said Jesus. Do this, and life is yours. But the man was anxious to justify himself, and said to Jesus, And who is my neighbour? Jesus replied, A man was once on his way down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of brigands. They took all he had, beat him, and then made off, leaving him half dead. Now, a priest happened to be travelling down, down the same road, but when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. In the same way, a Levite who came to the place saw him and passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan traveller who came upon him was moved with compassion when he saw him. He went up and bandaged his wounds, pouring oil and wine on them. He then lifted him onto his own mount, carried him to the inn and looked after him. Next day he took out two denarii and handed them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and on my way back I will make good any extra expense you have. Which of these three do you think proved himself a neighbour to the man who fell into the brigand's hands? The one who took pity on him, he replied. Jesus said to him, Go, and do the same yourself. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. As we think of this Gospel reading, we think of all those whose vocation is to have compassion for others, to care for the suffering and the sick, particularly at this time of the coronavirus. As we think of that gospel story, we remember that it was an outcast a person on the fringe of society who came to the aid of the beaten man. So we pray for a world in which everyone is respected and valued for who they are, not because of their race or their class, but because they are made in the image and likeness of God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for ever by the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shares in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, which will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for ever. Except, O oh Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, 
almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, of St. John, our patron, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all anxiety and distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Body of Christ, bring me to everlasting life. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. The Lord is good to those who hope in him to the soul that seeks him. Lord, we pray that your grace may always precede and follow us and make us continually to be given to all good works through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.